34 people are feared dead off the coast of Southern California's Santa Cruz Island after a fire on board a commercial dive boat happened on Labor Day. 20 bodies have been recovered so far. Joining us now is Ken Curtis. He's a diving instructor and the owner of Reef Seekers Dive Company. Ken knows the owner of this boat involved in this tragedy. Ken, thank you so much. I know how hard this has been on the dive community there. Can you just... Do you have any sense at this hour of how a tragedy of this level, 34 people possibly killed, could have happened? Well, and, and that's really, you know, the key question. I think it's important to understand, too, that uh, the Santa Barbara County Sheriff Brown really said it best. This happened at, like, the worst possible time. Had this happened at midnight, you would have had a number of people up. Had it happened at 6 a.m., you would have had a number of people up, and the outcome might have been different. But it happened... You know, roughly 3.30 in the morning <clears throat> when pretty much everybody's, everybody's asleep. So the key questions that, that the dive community really wants to know would be, how did this fire start? Um, it's not like we let people smoke uh, on, on the boats or anything like that uh, or vape, and it's too early probably for breakfast to have been uh, prepared. Uh, so I don't know whether it would have been a galley fire or not, but you know, you're just thinking that the timing of this is really weird. And then the other question is, how does it spread so quickly? Um, and I, I think the, the dive community is always a community that's looking for answers. So I'd, I'd say as a community, we're very happy to know the NTSB is getting involved. Yeah. Uh, but, it, but it's just a tragedy that you would not expect, you know, at, at all in terms of, of what we do. We go out to go dive and commune with nature and have a good time with the yeah. fish. I mean, Ken, I know that you have you say you've been diving for 38 years. You've never seen anything like this. And because of that, never. I just want to play for you this May Day call. So this is between the Coast Guard and someone on the ship. And I just want to, I want your help in understanding what we're hearing. So listen to this. Can you get back on board and unlock the boat, or lock, unlock the door so they can get off? Roger, you don't have any firefighting gear at all? No, no fire extinguishers or anything? Roger, and there's no escape hatch for any of the people on board. Okay, now obviously we're only hearing one side of that conversation. We're only hearing the, right, Coast, that's the Coast Guard, Guard guy you're hearing. dispatch, right? The Coast Guard dispatch responding, but he says no way to unlock the doors, no escape hatch for the people on board, no fire extinguishers on board. That sounds like a death right, trap. It, it does, except the Coast Guard guy's got it totally wrong. I think he absolutely misunderstands what what he's been told. First of all, there is no way to lock people in the bunk room, even if even if you wanted to, which you certainly do not. Um, there is an escape hatch at the back end of the bunk room. Whether whether people or not were able to access it or even knew about it, that I don't know. But that escape hatch absolutely exists, and the boat has firefighting equipment. It has fire extinguishers. It has fire hoses. So this is a, a situation I think where. The one side that we're hearing, and obviously when you, I, I've listened to this Mayday call a number of times, as I'm sure you, you understand, yeah. and you really hear that's a crew person, first of all. Let's not lose sight of the fact that only five of the six crew people made it off. That that's that a may crew, be the person crew person calling for help. But, but are you sure? Yeah, that's got to be. I mean, you know this boat. You're certain that it would have had firefighting capability on that boat, oh, fire extinguishers. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, you know, the joke would be, I'm sure I've stubbed my toe on the fire extinguishers over the, over the many years. Um, but boats are, are required to have fire extinguishers. They're required to have fire hoses. The fire hoses, I, I believe, just sort of suck water out of the uh, out of the ocean. So once you turn it on, there's an unlimited supply. Now, that does not mean that the crew was able to access any of that stuff due to the severity of the fire. Yeah. Uh, Ken Curtis, thanks so much for all of your expertise on this. Um, we are obviously waiting to hear more information about what happened that caused this tragedy. Thank you very much for being with us on New Day. Thank you.